pulses are detected by the detector and they tell us the frequency that was initially absorbed by this nucleon because since total energy is all is always conserved the energy that was absorbed by this nucleon to flip from the lower energy state to the higher energy state will be the same as the energy released by the nucleon when it flips back flips back from its higher energy state to its lower energy state so thus the frequency will be same and hence we will get to know the frequency that was initially absorbed now these frequency values are converted into something called chemical shift so chemical shift because the the values of frequency are really large so it's really difficult to get them on a scale because we'll be eventually plot plotting a spectrum so we the chemical shift values are uh, converted using a formula which is not in our syllabus so we are not going to go there but they are, but these frequencies are co converted into chemical shifts and these chemical shifts are plotted on the x axis of the spectrum like there are no axes but they are plotted on the horizontal axis of the spectrum and they are proportional to the frequency so the higher the frequency the higher the chemical shift and you will get to know what chemical shift exactly is as we move further so yeah before we delve into the spectrum the actual nmr spectrum i want you to remember a few things so nmr spectroscopy only takes place for nuclei with an odd number of nucleons now this is because uh if we have an even number of nucleons their spins will cancel out so they will not be detected by the spectrum but if we have an odd number of nucleons then the spins will not cancel out there will be resultant spin and due to that resultant spin we will have a spectrum so there are two types of nmr that we are going to deal with one is the proton nmr it is uh written as h1 nmr because the pro, the mass of an h atom is one atomic mass unit uh, because it has one proton in its nucleus and you can also see that this is an odd number so it has an odd number of nucleons it has one nucleon which is a proton and that's why it's called proton nmr and since it has an odd number of nucleons it can be detected by an nmr spectrum so there is something we call chemical environments so what we do is we detect the hydrogen atoms in different types of chemical environments because the value of the chemical shift for each chemical environment is already known and that is present in your data booklets so when we see a spectrum we can easily figure out which molecule we are talking about so what exactly a chemical environment is if you look at this ethanol molecule then you can see protons on three different atoms there are three protons on this carbon atom there are two protons on this carbon atom and there is one proton attached to this oxygen atom so i can say that there are three chemical environments in this molecule one is this the other one is this and the third one is this so there are three different environments for our protons so we can say that there will be three peaks in our proton nmr spectrum so some amount of radio wave radio waves will be absorbed by these hydrogens a different wavelength of radio waves will be absorbed by these hydrogens and a different way another different wavelength of radio waves will be absorbed by these hydrogens and by hydrogens i mean the protons in these hydrogen atoms because that proton has spin and hence when a magnetic field is applied it will absorb radio wave frequency and when it ab absorbs uh, pulses of radio waves and when it absorbs pulses of radio waves those pulses are, are of different wavelengths because these chemical environments are different so the chemical environment affects the frequency of the pulses absorbed and hence the chemical shift and the values of these chemical shifts are given in your data booklet now if we look at this molecule let's try to co count the number of protons a uh, proton environments chemical environments in this molecule so i want you to pause the video for a minute and try this yourself